In this lesson, we'll review a vocabulary in context reading question. This is from one of the passages, and even if you haven't read it, you could still answer this question. Just a reminder, the approach that you want to use for reading questions is answer the specific questions first before the general questions. And this one is very specific. It not only has a line number, but it's referring to one single word. And the reason you employ this strategy is by answering the more specific questions and then gradually moving toward the more general ones, you'll continue to read the passage and you'll expand your comprehension and then by the end you'll have a much better idea and you can answer the general questions. And so this is what's called a vocab and context and College Board has for the most part eliminated a lot of the esoteric vocab that used to be such a hallmark of the test and now they replace it with these words in context, words like synergy and empirical that in theory will have more applicability to your lives beyond test day. But one strategy I just want to remind you of with vocab, it's not that vocab is eliminated entirely. So if you see a vocab in context question now, there are really two types of questions. If it's very basic, for example, intense is a basic word. Everyone knows the definition of that. It's usually going to be the secondary meaning, not the primary meaning. It'll be an alternate meaning based on the context of the passage. But if it's a more advanced word, then it will be the primary meaning. And so an example of that, I saw another passage it referred to this nascent star. And a question asked what nascent meant, and it just meant fledgling, just being born or new, but it was testing the primary meaning of the word. But you're not gonna see words like quixotic and, and lugubrious on the test anymore. All right, so let's do question in line 38, what does intense mean? So we're just going to read this short paragraph. The coming decades will likely see more intense clustering of jobs, innovation, and productivity in a smaller number of bigger cities and city regions. Just from reading this sentence, we could glean the answer here. So the key words here, clustering, more intense clustering of jobs, innovation, and productivity in smaller number of bigger cities and regions. So that's really suggesting that there's been a convergence of these jobs and innovations in a smaller number of bigger cities. So they're all focused around these regions, these cities. And so the answer would be concentrated.